Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do the $20 makeup challenge. I've updated because I've done it in the past. And yeah, so I've already done it and it was okay, but I felt like updating it a little. Uh, I'm Canadian, but all prices are in Can it American dollars because probably wouldn't have as much product else. Um, so, so I'm going to use um, the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer as what will be concealer and foundation. This is to be made in only like light shades, um, dark shades I mean. Like my shade wasn't available. I think it was creamy natural and it was really too orangey. But porcelain seems okay. So, yeah. Here is the beast. So I'm not going to use tools. I'm going to use my tools because if I guess everybody has sort of a little a base of tools, but if not, um AliExpress has a nice variety. Maybe not of sponges, but of brushes. Yeah, they do. I'm going to use this as an eye primer. I prefer having my um, corrector, but it costs like $15, so I cannot really put it in there. Well, I could, but it sacrifices a lot. Just adding some more. I try not to use too much of e.l.f. and um, Clean Color because they're the inexpensive brands, but yeah. I could have used like this concealer, I think it's like a dollar or something, but I do not like the way it performs. I prefer the LA Girl. So it's not the fullest of coverage, but it still does the trick. So I'm going to powder underneath everywhere I put concealer using the e.l.f. tone correcting powder. As you can see, I like this a lot. It like instantly mattifies. You could bake with this, but I'm not going to today. I don't see much color correcting coming from this, but I still like using it. This brush is like 50 cents or something, so... You can add more if you feel like it's going to crease, but it usually doesn't. Especially if you don't have a key key, um... Like, I don't, I stopped wearing foundation because of that, but I feel like foundation is too much on my skin. It just makes the rest um, look ugly. So, I'm going to use... I could have used a Wet n Wild Trio, but I won't. Um, I'll be using the... This is Mariposa. It's a brand only in Canada, I believe. But I'm going to use... This in the crease, this on the lid, and this in the out inner corner and brow bone. Just because the pigmentation is extreme, and I don't know, it just it's a nice product. It's multitasking, and like I know the look will come out as natural on the eyes, but not a bad thing. We're going to play with the liner later, so it won't look um, as bad. It, I'm going to go out like this, like it's not a look where it's okay for a video, but not in real life. I mean, probably in real life I would have put out a contouring stick, especially the hard candy one that is like $5. But if not... I will go like this in public, so... And... 
pink on the lid, which looks a little bit crazy. A little bit in the outer corner. And with a flat brush, I'm just highlighting my inner corner with the highlight. Like with this look, I did not want it to compromise um, the glow or anything. I was like, is this the look I want? Is this the look I will get? Um, but I need to wait. What's like the excess powder? I'm going to take the LA Colors Graphics Eyeliner. Having used, haven't used, used this in a long time, but I still have faith that it will be great, but might not, who knows. So it's been new. Oh, I feel like they changed the applicator, but we're not going to mind that. Okay, so it's not the best, um, but it will do. At least it breaks the barrier of thinking that all looks with this have to be natural. Yeah, they're not similar, but at least the liner is just like I remember. It's not as precise as I remembered, but with time I've tried some better stuff. And I don't know, to me it looks okay because we have definition. So yeah. Eyes aren't even, they will probably never be. Um, and since the liner is sort of very liquidy, I'm going to let the lid dry. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do my brows with the e.l.f. brow pencil that I really, really like. I use this pretty much every day. Um, it doesn't do like dramatic brows, I guess you can make it look that. Um, dramatic but I do my I do natural brows and I feel like it does perfectly its job I start using this when I didn't have any of my L'Oreal pencil left and this one was like I think here it's three dollars but in the United States it's like two dollars something like that so it's not that bad so yeah, I don't do something overly um, defined, but I still think it's better than nothing. And I would usually put my Benefit um, Gimme Brow or the Essence $3 um, Make Me Brow, I believe. So there's that, but it still lasts a very long time without them. It's just for the extra um, volume. So. Brows are done, and I'm going to go with the face. Um, first, I'm going to contour using, of course, the um, Mariposa contouring thingy, um, contour blush highlight. So here we go. This brush was like one or two dollars. I really prefer having cream contour, but. At least I have contour, which is what matters the most. I feel like it looks more dramatic on camera, but the face looks much warmer because this is a sort of warm bronzer compared to um, what I usually use, which is the Smashbox Contour Kit or the um, NYX Taupe. Okay, there's Murphy. It doesn't look like I've applied much blush in real life. I don't know why it picks up that much on camera, but y'all about to be lined. Okay, not that much, but still. I'm going to put some more highlight on the inner corner. And mascara. Um I don't know how bad 
yes will be or good but I haven't tried it and I'm really difficult with mascara so I'm gonna go with hate but um, if I can open it oh yeah it's the LA Colors Lash Building Mascara, like their basic, basic mascara, so... The one looks like this, pretty basic. Um, it's like the one is too big, I be believe. So... It's okay, I mean, it's a nice... Um, Oh. Um, natural mascara, I guess, but like it does the job for a dollar, but I probably won't um, repurchase. Yeah, so it's not the greatest, but it's not. It's really not the worst I tried, so it's okay. I mean, I mean, it's inky. It's but it's black, so I don't know. This is just a basic mascara to me. Like, I love it, but it's for natural lashes. Still lifts the lashes a little bit, which I love because I haven't curled. This would be a nice um, lower lashes mascara, I guess. I don't know. Um, I will take the e.l.f. spoolie on the I'm going to put a little bit more of, of the shadow or not just oh, oh I guess doing that works so last what I have is a lip color again from elf uh, it's the what the fuck it's the natural natural matte lip crayon I believe so this is how, how I came up with with the look um, there's so much other ways you can um, adjust the look to what you like this is how I would wear it. Um, should I maybe ditch the, the lip color for a better mascara? Maybe, but with such bold liner, um, to me it doesn't really matter. And some cream contour wouldn't hurt, but I still have a defined look. And maybe some setting spray. I know Elf has one for three dollars, so. That could be used instead of the lip product, which I don't know, wasn't necessary. Um, also, if you want to pack more punch, you can maybe skip the liner or, or keep the liner and take the same um, lipstick in a deeper shade. I think they have berries, more nudes, and a red. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and um, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.